British Prime Minister Liz Truss has accused Russian President Vladimir Putin of making several rattling threats to cover his failed invasion of Ukraine as she told the United Nations that its founding principles were fracturing because of aggression by authoritarian states. In her debut speech to the UN General Assembly on Wednesday night, Truss called the war in Ukraine a battle for values and the security of the whole world. Responding to a statement from Putin that he was mobilizing reservists and would use everything at his disposal to protect Russia, an apparent reference to his nuclear arsenal, Truss accused the Russian leader of desperately trying to justify his catastrophic failures. No one is threatening Russia. Yet as we meet here this evening, in Ukraine, barbarous weapons are being used to kill and maim people. Rape is being used as an instrument of war. Families are being torn apart. And this morning, we have seen Putin trying to justify his catastrophic failures. He's doubling down by sending even more reservists to a terrible fate. He's desperately trying to claim the mantle of democracy for a regime without human rights or freedoms. And he's making yet more bogus claims and sabre-rattling threats. This will not work. The international alliance is strong, and Ukraine is strong. The contrast between Russia's conduct and Ukraine's brave, dignified First Lady, Elena Zelenska, who's here at the UN today, could not be more stark. The Ukrainians aren't just defending their own country. They're defending our values and the security of the whole world. That's why we must act. That's why the UK will, set, will spend 3% of GDP on defence by 2030, maintaining our position as the leading security actor in Europe. And that's why, at this crucial moment in the conflict, I pledge that we will sustain or increase our military support to Ukraine for as long as it takes. New UK, new UK weapons are arriving in Ukraine as I speak, including more MRLS. In a speech outlining her view of a review of foreign policy, Truss spoke glowingly of Queen Elizabeth II while extolling the late monarch as a symbol of everything the UN stands for. I join you here just two days after Her Late Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, was laid to rest. We deeply mourn her passing and we pay tribute to her service. She was the rock on which modern Britain was built. And she symbolized the post-war values on which this organization was founded. Our constitutional monarchy, underpinned by a democratic society, has delivered stability and progress. Her late majesty transcended difference and healed division. We saw this in her visits to post-apartheid South Africa and to the Republic of Ireland. When she addressed this General Assembly 65 years ago, she warned that it was vital not only to have strong ideals, but also to have the political will to deliver on them. Now we must show that will. We must fight to defend those ideals. And we must deliver on them for all of our people. World leaders at the United Nations have called for Moscow to be held accountable for human rights violations in Ukraine as Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov defended his country's war against Ukraine. Lavrov accused Ukraine of creating threats against Russian security and brazenly trampling the rights of Russians and Russian speakers in Ukraine. He said countries supplying weapons to Ukraine and training its soldiers were parties to the conflict. Thousands have been killed in Ukrainian cities, reduced to rubble since Russia's invasion in the biggest assault 
on European states since World War II. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.